It is often helpful to explore your data using graphs and charts. You can use these to examine the structure of data or display its distribution. We're going to look at some data collected in 1990, which investigates changing levels of air pollution. We'll use the data to create this histogram and this two-dimensional scatter plot. The principal measurement is the amount of sulphur in the air each day, but there are also associated measurements, the strength and direction of the wind, and whether or not it rained. To find the data, select File, Open Example Data Sets. Type Sulphur, then double-click the file to open it. From the menu, select Graphics, Histogram. The Data tab lets you select the data you want to plot. Sulphur is highlighted, so click the arrow to move this to the Data Variates field. Click the Options tab. In the Graph Title field, type Sulphur Pollution. In the Boundaries section, Ensure that Use Data Values is selected. This lets GenStat automatically select the number of groupings and their location. You can use the Number of Groups option to specify a particular number of groups. The groups are then defined by intervals of equal width, spanning the range of values of the variate. Alternatively, if you want to have other intervals, you can define the boundaries explicitly by selecting the Limits option and entering either a variate containing the boundary values or the list of values themselves. Click Run. This histogram shows the number of observations in successive equal width categories of the sulphur scale. Clearly, sulphur has a skewed distribution. There are many days with little or no sulphur in the year, and then fewer days in successive categories with more and more sulphur. Many statistical studies are concerned not with single variables, but with the relationships between several variables. With pollution, it is natural to ask questions like, is there any effect of wind speed on the sulphur level? The most effective way to begin answering a question like this is generally to draw a scatter plot or point plot. We'll do this now. Close the Graphics Viewer. To create a scatter plot, select Graphics, 2D Scatter Plot. This window lets you specify the data and set the display options for your scatter plot. We want to plot the sulphur levels against the wind speeds. To set the Y variate, select Sulphur, then click the arrow. To set the X variate, select Wind SP, then click the arrow. Click the Options tab. Enter the graph title as a date, 7.9.90 to 29.12.90. Click Run. We've created our scatter plot using the default settings, but we can easily change aspects of the plot, such as axes labels, within the Graphics Viewer. From the menu, select Edit, Edit Graph. Click the X-axis tab. Ensure Display Title is selected. Type Wind Speed M forward slash S. Now we'll set the upper and lower bounds. For the lower bound, click Use Value and type 0. For the upper bound, click Use Value and type 25. Now click the Y axis tab. Ensure Display Title is selected. Type the following. This string is a special command, 
to make 3 a superscript character. Click the Graph Options tab. Here you can set the style and colour of the symbols for the scatter plot. Select Circle to use as the symbol for each data point. Select Dark Blue as the outer colour of the circle. Select Fill Colour, then select Light Blue for the inner colour of the circle. Click OK to display the graph. Compare this to the scatter plot we created using the default settings. The labels are more informative and the data points are clearer.